Hey everyone, Justin here from High Level How To, and today we're gonna to look at how to add a client sub account inside of Go High Level. Let's jump right in. Okay, so whenever you log in to High Level, you are gonna be inside of your agency dashboard. And what we wanna to do to add an account is you click on sub accounts from the left sidebar menu. And that's going to open up an existing list of any sub accounts that you already have. Now, if you're just getting started, there's not going to be anything here. Okay. So what you can do is just click on the blue create sub account button, and that's going to pop up this option. Now, if you're on the SAS plan, which we are, you're going to see that you can add a new SAS account. Okay. So this SAS stands for software as a service. You can charge people a monthly fee and they get all sorts of additional benefits and features. But if you don't want to do that, you can click on regular account and you you can simply select the snapshot that you want to use to start your client sub account. Okay. So if you are working with a client and let's say that they are an attorney, then it might be useful for you to use the attorney snapshot when starting their account, because it's going to give you some basics around websites, funnels, different components that are going to make it easier for you to go in and customize it to their liking, but it gives you a head start. Otherwise, if you want to start from scratch, then what you would do is just click on this blank snapshot option here, which is what I'm going to do for uh, this video here. Okay. So you can search for your business if they have a location or more than likely, and this is what I do. I just click on add account manually. And from here, you would just go in and fill out the information. So let me do that really quick. All right, so I filled this out. I gave it a name, George Washington, George at coolpresidents.com. So you want to make sure that you put in their account info there. And then you also need to fill in their general information, which is going to be the name of the business, the location of the business, uh, phone number, and the time zone as well. The time zone is important because there's going to be a lot of different automations that you can set up, and it's going to default to this time zone whenever you set up the sub account here. Okay, so once you do that, go ahead and click save. And what that's going to do is that's going to actually create this sub account, and it's going to take you into the sub account management section from your agency dashboard. So if there's any additional information you want to add, this is where you could do it. Okay, so you can see the account info I just added, the general info that I put in right here. You can also then start helping them set up their social profiles. If you want, you can add different notes or tasks to their account. But in general, that is how you set up a sub account. So once you have this, you can now jump into this sub account and begin to help them build their website, set up their funnels, whatever service you're offering them. And you can actually click this switch to sub account button right here. But let's say that you log out and you log back in, and you're trying to figure out how do I get back to this page here? Just go back to your sub accounts tab, you want to scroll down until you find your client. So cool president's club right here. I'm going to click on that. It's going to take me back into the manager. And then if I want to jump into their actual sub account, I will click switch to sub account. Now, this is what your client's going to see whenever they log into high level. However, you need to make sure that you give your client access to the sub account. Okay. So you can set this up and start working on it before they ever even have access. So I'm going to show you how to do that as well. So I'm inside the sub account and I need to back out and go to my agency view. So if I click on this drop down here, I can click on switch to agency view. So what you want to do is click on settings in the bottom left. And then from here, you're going to click on team. Okay. What you need to do is you need to add a user to this account. So in the top right, click on add employee, and you just need to go through each one of these sections and fill out the information. So I'm going to use the same information as before. Okay. So I started filling this out and what I've done is I've added the name, the email address, the phone number. I've created a password for them, just a temporary password that I can share with them. That is in the first section here. So I'll go ahead and close that. The next section down is the permissions you want to allow for this user. Okay. And so this is something that you may want to look into in case there's certain things that you want to prevent your client from being able to do. So like, Hey, I don't want them to go in and mess up the funnels. So I'm going to turn that off or I don't want them to start creating a million tags. So I'm going to turn that off and I will be the one in control of the tag. So this will be totally personal preference based on what you and your client have discussed, but this is where you can manage all of those user permissions. Then the final section is the user roles. Okay. And so it's going to default in the top here to being an agency user, which means if you were to create this person and leave it on agency, when they log in, they're going to see all of the agency level information that you see. They're going to see all of your clients, sub accounts are going to be able to manage certain things. I and mean, so you want to make sure that if you're setting up a sub account for a client, click on the drop down and click on just a regular account. 
And then from there, you can decide, are they gonna be an admin of this account or just a user of this account? So usually when you're setting up a client sub account, the very first person you're gonna add is probably gonna be the admin of that sub account. So I always default to that. And then if you ever need to add like an employee of that business, then I would, you know, you can click user if that makes sense. Then the final step, and perhaps the most important is you need to actually make sure you add this user to the sub account you just set up. So you would click this drop down. I'm gonna search for Cool Presidents Club, which is right here. And now once I click save, it is going to send an email notification to my client. And whenever they log in, they're gonna see that they have access to the sub account that I just created for them. They're gonna have admin level status for that account so they can go in and start making some changes and updates if they want. So that is how to create a client sub account inside of high level. If you don't already have a high level account, you can go to ghltrial.com and that will give you a free 14 day free trial to test out high level. I recommend doing that, especially as you're watching our videos, it makes it a lot easier to kind of understand how the system works because there's a bit of a learning curve, but the videos that we're making, our goal is to make it as simple as possible for you to get up and running. So if you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe and turn on the bell notifications. And then also in the comments, if you have specific questions about, hey, I'm trying to figure this out and I, I'm not quite sure how to do it, just ask us in the comments and we will make sure that we make some videos to help show you how to get the most out of high level. Until next time.